Welcome back to Mental Math. Here's an exponential equation that looks intimidating at first. 16 to the x minus 4 to the x equals 56. But the beautiful thing is, the solution comes from one elegant insight about the relationship between these bases. The key insight here is recognizing how these bases relate to each other. We want to express everything using the same base. Starting with our equation, notice something interesting. 16 is actually a power of 4. 16 equals 4 squared. Let's use that. So we can rewrite the first term as 4 squared, all raised to the power of x. When we have a power raised to another power, we multiply the exponents. So we multiply 2 and x, giving us 4 to the power of 2x. Now, here's the clever part. 2x is the same as x times 2, which lets us rewrite this in a really useful way. We can write this as 4 to the x, all squared. And suddenly, we've revealed a hidden quadratic structure. To make this clearer, let's introduce a substitution. Notice that 4 to the x appears in both places. So let's call this entire thing y to simplify our work. We're setting y equal to 4 to the power of x. And just like that, our exponential equation becomes a simple quadratic. Now we just need to solve for y. First, let's rearrange this into standard form. We'll subtract 56 from both sides, giving us y squared minus y minus 56 equals 0. To factor this, we need two numbers that multiply to negative 56 and add to negative 1. Those numbers are negative 8 and positive 7. So we get y minus 8 times y plus 7 equals 0. Now we can use the zero product property. If a product equals 0, then one of the factors must be 0. This gives us two simple equations for y. So y equals 8 or y equals negative 7. We've found y, but remember we need to find x. Let's substitute back. Remember, we defined y as 4 to the x. Let's check each case. First case, 4 to the x equals 8. To solve for x, let's express both sides with the same base. Both 4 and 8 are powers of 2. 4 is 2 squared, 8 is 2 cubed. Using the power rule, we get 2 to the 2x. Same base on both sides, so we can equate the exponents. 2x equals 3. Dividing by 2, x equals 3 halves. Now the second case, 4 to the x equals negative 7. Here's the thing about this case. Let's visualize what y equals 4 to the x actually looks like. The blue curve is 4 to the x, growing exponentially. The red line is y equals negative 7. Notice something crucial. The blue curve never goes below 0. 4 to the x is always positive, no matter what x is. These graphs never meet. So 4 to the x equals negative 7 has no real solution. That leaves us with just one solution. Let's verify it works in the original equation. Our original equation, 16 to the x minus 4 to the x equals 56. Substituting x equals 3 halves. With fractional exponents, the denominator tells us the root and the numerator tells us the power. So 16 to the 3 halves becomes the square root of 16, all cubed. Same for 4 to the 3 halves. Let's compute these square roots. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Now we cube them. 4 cubed is 64. 2 cubed is 8. 64 minus 8 equals 56. Perfect. Our solution checks out. So here's our final answer. x equals 3 halves is our only real solution. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed seeing how we transformed an exponential equation into a quadratic, hit that like button and subscribe to Mental Math for more problem-solving techniques.